One of the worst things that can happen to you when shooting videos or photo is you get home, you plug in your SD card after a shoot and you're getting an error message. It's telling you to format your card and you're debating whether you should or shouldn't and you can't see any of your photos or videos from that shoot. This has happened to me and it's one of the worst feelings ever. Luckily today, I'm gonna to show you guys one of the ways that I was actually able to get my footage back after a card was corrupt and had some error. I was actually able to retrieve the footage edit my video and deliver it to the clients. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm Tyler Casey. I'm a music video director. So when I shot, I had an error message similar to this. When I plugged it into my computer, it asked me to format it. The first thing I would say to you guys is do not format the card. Once you format it, it's gonna be really hard or almost impossible to get the footage off. If it's corrupt, you still have a chance of getting it back. So one night I spent tons of money and time buying different softwares to retrieve the footage and paying a bunch of money and finally I found a program that worked and it worked again for me recently. So I really do like this program. The name of this program is Ease US Data Recovery and it works really good for SD cards and there's a few other ones that I've used for hard drives and whatnot, but this one works really solid for the SD cards. It's also $70 for a license, but I think you only have to buy it once. So that's really cool. You keep it throughout the years where a lot of these, they make you pay annually. So it's really nice having something that you can always come back to. What you're going to want to do once you open it is you're going to find the disc that is messed up and you're going to want to scan it. Once you do the initial scan, you're going to get all these folders. The thing that I would suggest is just let it do its job. Don't mess with it. Don't look through the folders. Just let it complete its task, let it fully scan your card, and then you could go through and see what files you're gonna wanna recover. So then I would go through and select the video clips that you would like to recover. You can also do this by date, so you can see the dates that it was shot, just because other stuff might show up, like old photos or something like that. So then once you do that, you're gonna recover it to a specific file location that you set, and then hopefully your video clip should work and you can also save that session if you ever want to come back to that card. I hope this helps you guys out. This is one of the favorite ones that I've used. There's a bunch of other ones out there, but I'm not going to recommend them to you because I haven't had the best of luck with those, but this has worked the best for me for my SD cards. Hope this helped you guys out. Drop a like, drop a comment down below if you guys found it useful or have any other tips. I'm Tyler Casey. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.